welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time coming across my channel my name is tiffany and my channel focuses on my weight loss journey i show what i eat in a week what i eat in a day on my journey to slim thick i also show my home life and home decor so if that is something that might interest you definitely consider subscribing okay you guys so my last video that i showed you well my last food video that i showed you i did a detox and in that video, I lost 6.8 pounds, bringing my total loss to about 22 to 23 pounds that I am so, so proud of. So now this video, I'm just going to continue the momentum by eating 50 net carbs a day for the week and not eliminating any food groups, just keeping my net carbs to 50 net carbs a day. But before we get into what I ate this week, this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middle man glassesusa.com offers over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses including in-house brands like Amelia E and Muse and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci and many more at up to 70% off of retail prices. So when I say they are affordable and great quality, they are affordable and great quality. What I love about GlassesUSA.com is the fact that it's a risk-free shopping experience. Shipping and returns are always free and you get a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. So you have time to see if the glasses that you order are the ones for you or if you want to try out another pair. And they even have a virtual try on tool on the website, which is so cool. It was actually really fun to use and it helps you to see how the glasses will look on you to help you even more in making the right decision for you. I used it in picking out my glasses. And like I said, I have fun doing it. <laughs> And if you prefer contacts over glasses, or if you just want to have both, GlassesUSA.com is the perfect place to stock up and save on contact lenses. You get 25% off of all contact brands like Vista Plus, AccuV, Biofinity, and more. I ended up getting three pairs of glasses and I'm so happy because I just got a new prescription in GlassesUSA.com. When I say they came in clutch, they came in clutch, okay? So the first pair that I got are these cute frames from Amelia E. Now, I always see people with colored frames and I've never tried them before. And I just wanted to try it for myself to see how I would look in some colored frames. I was in between like red or pink but I decided to go with the pink and I absolutely love them. I just feel all feminine and girly and cute. I don't know if you guys already know, but I do really love clear frames and I feel like they're kind of close to it. Like if you don't want to go for a really bright, bold, bold color, I think that this would be like a perfect starter kind of color glasses if you just want to kind of try it out. Super, super cute. The next pair I got are these super cute, like bold black frames. I love a black frame. I just feel like it's classy, it's chic. I mean, it goes with everything. And it just, you know, it just gives you that like, I don't know, rich auntie vibe. I, I really think that the thick ones do. I don't know if it's like Oprah glasses that make me think of that, but I wanted me some thick framed black glasses. So I picked these used ones up and I am obsessed. They're so cute. What do you guys think? And the last pair that I got, child, are these super cute sunglasses. Like whoever thought to put sunglasses and prescription glasses together is just a genius, okay? I'm like, I'm so happy because I love sunglasses, but you know, half the time I just be trying to show out, girl, but I can't see a dang on thing, especially if I'm driving. I be like, I can see, but it's all fuzzy, okay? So the fact that I could just, you know, look cool, look good, look chic, and see, <laughs> girl, I'm totally here for it. And aren't these frames so cute? They are a vibe, period. Girl, let me go ahead, since I'm inside, let me go ahead and switch back to my other ones. I'm gonna switch back to these, girl, my Oprah ones. 
So I guess you guys, I definitely recommend for you to check out classesusa.com. You definitely won't regret it. I will be sure to have the link in the description box below for you guys. Now let's go ahead and get into what I ate this week. Hey loves, happy Monday. Okay you guys, so I'm starting off the week feeling good, feeling motivated. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is my first meal for the day. It is going on about 1.30 right now. So I just did some work and typically I intermittent fast until 12 anyway. So I just went a little bit over today. This is a low carb pre-made meal from Factor. And this is their, I think it's called their cheesy bacon chicken. This one is so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. I would say this was, this one is probably one of my favorite ones that I've tried from Factor. So, and then all of the shrimp ones have been pretty good too. So if you do decide to order their service, you can pick their meals. This one to me is a 10 out of 10, okay? And it comes with um, the chicken, some portobello mushrooms, and then also some broccoli. And I just added a tiny bit of butter to the broccoli and the mushrooms and this one is 13 net carbs and this one is 13 net carbs so yes you guys this is what i'll be having for my first meal Okay, you guys, so the time now is about eight o'clock and I haven't had anything since the last time you saw me on camera with the shake. So all I had was the factor meal and the slim fast shake and that put me at 21 net carbs and they just went to Popeye's. So I got a chicken breast and y'all chicken breast is not as many carbs as I thought. I think a thigh is nine carbs and a mild chicken breast is 16 carbs and 440 calories. So I went ahead and logged it in and oh wait, no, the factor meal was 13 net carbs. I'm tripping, okay. The factor meal was 13. I think the slim fast is two. I didn't get a chance to log that yet. And then the chicken breast, that will put me at 20 three net carbs. Now I'm gonna have this if I end in just some water. If I feel like I'm hungry, I do have another factor meal that, let me show you guys real quick. This is the creamy pesto pork chop and it's only eight carbs. So that will only bring me to 23, eight is what, 31? Oh, I ain't good at that. <laughs> but I will still be within my carbs. And also, yeah, I'm not really counting calories, but I still will be within what my fitness file has on there. So we shall see. I'll come back if um, I do decide to have my factor meal. But for right now, I'm just gonna eat this while it's hot. Okay, you guys, this is dinner so far. Y'all, the chicken breast. It was so delicious and crunchy, y'all. Yeah, okay, that was bomb. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. I had a big cup of water, so I'm just leave it at the chicken breast and hopefully I don't get hungry later because it's already 8.30. I think I'm gonna save the factor meal for tomorrow maybe. So yeah, I do have a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna go ahead and have this I guess the brand name is strawberry print I saw it at the grocery store the other day and just decided to pick it up I've never tasted it before but it is okay it says only two net carbs per bar with no added sugar and it is 160 calories it has 12 net carbs two fiber and then eight sugar alcohols which is two net carbs 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste test for y'all. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like and it's a pretty decent size. And you guys already know I really like ice creams because they last a long time. And yeah, it just feels like you're savoring your dessert. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Y'all, it tastes pretty good. I don't taste any like aftertaste or anything. The only thing is that I feel like the chocolate might be dark chocolate because it tastes like more dark chocolate than milk chocolate but it's frozen frozen you know these melting all over the place this one is like frozen solid dang near this is what the inside part kind of looks like let me try one more bite i like it it has like a subtle sweetness to it and you have the dark chocolate i feel like it will satisfy your sweet tooth but if you're not into dark chocolate then i don't know if you would like it because it does have that taste to it a little bit and then the ice cream inside isn't super super sweet and i like that it doesn't have like that overly fake sugar taste so that's it and this is how i'll be ending my night okay you guys so we are at farmer boys because we have been at the dmv for hours right now <laughs> like i mean literally hours and it's 4 30 i have not ate one thing i haven't even drank anything today i literally haven't even had water i don't think i think i brought a bottle of water and didn't even drink it so i'm about to go in here and order probably a bunless burger because yeah i have me time to cook right now and i'm still on, on the road so <music> Hey you guys, so I ordered a bacon boy with no tomatoes on a bed of lettuce. So we have a lettuce, we have two slices of bacon, our meat and cheese, and then it's topped with crispy onion straw. I have had this when I was just doing plain straight out keto. I would have this all the time and I would consistently lose even with the crispy onions which are lightly breaded. So yes you guys this is what I will be having and just depending on if I'm hungry at any point later because it's 4 30 now so if I am hungry later then I'll come back then. Yes you guys this is what I'll be having. Okay loves so it's late right now I think it's probably a little bit after nine but i did decide not to have anything else so i just had the bunless burger that i showed you earlier and then i did have a little sweet tooth so i'm gonna have my two carb keto ice cream bar and the more i ate this yesterday the better it tastes i think when i first gave my first initial taste test it was like okay all i could taste was the dark chocolate but as i kept eating the whole bar like it is pretty dang on tasty i will definitely be buying this again i got this at food for less so yes you guys it's the strawberry print keto chocolate bar ice cream so this is how i'll be ending my night Okay, you guys. So the time now is about 1 p.m. and I'm just now about to have my first meal. Y'all, I have been working since like six in the morning. So yeah, I just made my way downstairs to the kitchen and I'm so glad I already had like this pre-cooked meal. This is some pesto pork chops with cauliflower rice and like a pesto sauce. You can see like the green and then some green beans. So I haven't tasted this meal before, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick taste test for you guys. Give me a sec. Let's taste this in. That's what it's looking like. Mm, 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 mm. So good, you guys. My experience with pork chops is that, you know, it just has to be cooked right because, you know, pork chops can be so dry. And if it's not prepared right or with the right sauces or the right size, it just feels to me like a big chunk of dry meat and I'm not here for that. But when it's prepared right and has the right sides and all that, it just works. And this one, it actually works really, really good. Let me go ahead and try the green bean. Mm. I didn't see any sauce on this, but it has like a different type of flavor on it. I don't know. It's not just a green bean by itself, but I don't know what it is. And I threw the box away. <laughs> but yes, you guys, this is what 
I will be having for my first meal. So the time now is about 3.30 and I have a little bit of a sweet tooth. I ended up doing an Instacart order and saw this on there and decided to pick it up because it was new, okay? Now, the reason I picked this up is because like their traditional, I think it's called Indulge Caramel Cluster Turtles or whatever. Those are delicious. They're one of my favorite Atkins um, candies. So when I saw this, I definitely wanted to give it a try, but I had added them to my cart and I'm like, I'm looking through my cart and I'm like, hmm, what did I get this this much where, girl, this box is a 10 at 28. And I was like, $10? I mean, I'm used to maybe like six or seven and I already think that that's on the higher side. But $10 for some candy? I was like, if this not sees candy, I just can't do it. But then I was like, you know what? I do want to try it out for everybody else because just in case it is really, really good. And then it also said big size, big taste. So I don't know if they're bigger than the average, like the ones that I've tried before. And then it comes with eight in there as well. So it's zero grams of sugar, it's gluten-free, and it's two net carbs for one. Let's go ahead and see what it's tasting like. Okay, so here is a close-up of what it looks like. It has a lot of little almond clusters in it. Now, is it a big size? Not really. I mean, it's probably a 20% bigger than the one that I already had before, the indulge one. It's not huge. I mean, it might look like it because I have it kind of close up, but no. Okay, <laughs> it's pretty average. I think it's about probably two good bites. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, I can mess with this. I can mess with this. It tastes like a, a turtle, but it's a little more, I don't know if I wanna say salty, like a salty buttery kind of flavor a little more. And it looks like it's a lot of like nuts in it, but it works out really good. And like I said, it's about two bites. So this is my last bite. I'm about to take it down. I actually do like it. Now, would I buy it again for $10? I know they have like a Russell Stover's sugar-free and I'm like, is this way better than that one? I think I do like it slightly more, but the jury is out on if I will just continue to buy this box after box, but we'll see. If I do end up liking it enough, then you will be seeing it on the channel. So yes, you guys, I just wanted to share that new snack with you. Hey guys, so this is what I will be having for my dinner. This is blackened shrimp and grits. So basically it's cauliflower grits. If you saw my last video, you saw me make it. This is a meal from Green Chef. If you miss me making this, here's a little clip of how I got it together. So yes, you guys, that is my shrimp and cauliflower grits. When I say it is delicious, it is delicious. Now this is both servings. There's not, I don't know, for this particular meal, the cauliflower, it just doesn't make that much cauliflower. <laughs> so it feels like this is just like one serving, but we'll see. We'll see how full I end up getting if I end up eating the whole bowl or not. But yes, you guys, I think this entire thing is about 20 net carbs. So when I say a 10 out of 10, a 10 out of 10, super, super delicious. And the time now is about 7.45. So this will be my dinner. Hey loves, happy Thursday. Okay you guys, so I was looking on TikTok for some shirataki noodle recipe. 
I got these shirataki noodles from Thrive Market a long time ago and never used them before, never ate them before. And I've always wanted to try them out to see what the consistency was like, if it reminded me of noodles, if it's something that I can actually eat. I think they even call them miracle noodles or maybe that's a different brand. All of them, I believe, are shirataki noodles. Now this is the ramen type. I think they have different types like fatter ones, fettuccine type ones, I'm not sure. But this is the one that I picked up from Thrive Market. Again, it's keto friendly and for this entire bag is five carbs. So I went to TikTok looking for like different recipe ideas and one that stood out, I had pretty much everything for. She did pair it with some pot stickers and I had pot stickers too, but it was like, I think it's like seven or eight carbs for one. So I didn't want to do that for this video. Maybe I will when um, I'm doing like a calorie counting video, but since I'm doing 50 net carbs, I just didn't want to use all my carbs on the pot stickers today. So we're just going to go ahead and go with the noodle recipe. One thing I am missing though is the sesame seed oil. And oh my gosh, I looked up and down the pantry, but the pantry's a mess. So I don't know if it's just hidden, but I could have swore I had some sesame oil. I know I do, y'all. I'm probably gonna go back in there. I'm gonna ch just check one more time because I know I have some sesame seed oil. I always do. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna go look for that. You guys check out this TikTok video. Bam. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy I found this. Moral of the story, never give up. Okay, you guys, so now that y'all saw the TikTok, doesn't it look delicious? Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and make this. The key is supposedly to, and she didn't show this part, but from other videos I saw, is that you're supposed to rinse them really well. Some people even boil them first and all of that. I'm just gonna rinse it well with some hot water and then to pat it dry, try to get all of the water out of it. So yes, you guys, let's go ahead and whip this up. Okay hey guys, so here is our finished sherry taki noodles. And oh my gosh, they look exactly like ramen, exactly. So yeah, my mind is kind of messed up right now. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I have realistic expectations. Cause you know, when something looks like something you're expecting to just like go straight in and it tastes just like that, but I don't know. So we shall see, girl, it looks Exactly. I made bay some tuna last night, so it was some eggs left over. So I just put a half an egg there for garnishing. But oh my gosh, this is what it looks like close up. Let's taste it. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. What? Y'all, this is really a miracle noodle. Cause I thought that the texture was just gonna be so off but it really has kind of a, a starchy kind of texture. Man, I would say as far as texture goes, this is the best that I've probably, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of these that I've had as far as just texture wise. And what it seems like is like it, takes on whatever flavor, like whatever flavor it's in originally, as long as you rinse that off, it seems like it'll take whatever flavor you give it. Y'all, no lie, I'm trying to think of the words to describe the texture, but it's good. I like it. I will be having this on the channel now. Like y'all, I feel like I'm eating pure noodles and this is only five net carbs. The whole bag is nine carbs and 
four fibers, five carbs. And I think like, cause the serving, like once it cooks down, I think this is like a good snack size or something to put alongside like a meat or something. It's perfect. It is so good. Now, man, only got like one more bag. And so now I'm kind of wondering like, okay, how many different recipes can I try with this? And, you know, see how I can make it work. So yeah, you guys, I'm excited for this. This is something new to the channel and I like it. Definitely give it a try. I'll link mine down below, but I think you can get them other places too. So I'm gonna look around online and just kind of see what's going on well go on <laughs> so yeah you guys this will be my first meal oh my goodness you guys those shirataki noodles were so good i even considered having a second serving because for that pack believe it or not i think it's like 40 calories so it's good for low carb and it's good for low calories so that was 40 calories and, but it is actually pretty filling. I think I was just trying to be greedy and was gonna get some more, but I was like, okay, let me not do that. But I did get a little popsicle, it had melted and then we refroze it. But basically this is the sugar-free chocolate popsicle. And I'm going to have this instead just to, you know, satisfy my little sweet tooth. So yes, you guys, this is what I'm having after my first meal, but yeah. Try you some shirataki noodles, bomb bomb. Okay, you guys, so the time now is about five o'clock and I am hungry. Like it is bright and hot outside. And I just, I don't know if this is dinner, but I'm definitely hungry now. And when I really think about it, I had about that ice cream was 40 calories and the shirataki noodles was like 40 calories and then all the stuff I added. So wasn't that much and I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so I forgot I did make tuna the other day. I still have a little bit left. So I was gonna make a tuna sandwich, but girl, look at this. I feel like, like this is, is this mold? I always thought like, is this mold or is it like flour yeast or something rising up or something, but I just don't trust it. I'm feeling like it's mold or it's, a, or it's mold, premature mold, about to turn into mold. This is my carb master bread and yeah, I'm not feeling it. So I think I have a low carb tortilla and I'm just gonna make a wrap with that instead. Okay guys, so this is what my wrap is looking like. I just got tuna and one slice of cheese. And yeah, and I have a bottle of water over here. So yes, you guys, again, it's about five o'clock and this is what I'll be having. So here is my quick skillet pizza. I actually got this idea from one of y'all. Somebody was like, have you ever did a pizza with a tortilla? And I'm like, no, I haven't actually. So I went to good old trusty TikTok and just kind of looked around a little bit. I didn't see anybody that made it like super special. Most of them just kind of puts a tortilla in some butter and then did what I just showed you. So yeah, it seemed pretty basic enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Let me go ahead and cut it real quick. Okay, you guys, so I can't find my pizza cutter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a knife. So I might look, might look a little bootleg. Okay, you guys, sorry. I ended up getting a phone call and all kind of time and everything else then passed. So let me just go ahead and get a quick bite. Show you the underside. Okay, so the underside is brown. Let's see. Mmm. 
Y'all, this might be my new little snack. Oh, mm, 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 mm. If you're craving pizza, this is something you can make in less than 10 minutes that will satisfy that craving. Mm, 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 mm. Super good. I saw another person, they pan fried it first and then they put it on a rack in the oven and it made the tortilla super, super crispy. This one has like a medium, I would say on a scale of one to 10, it's probably like a six. So. If you want the bottom to be extra, extra crispy, then maybe put it in the oven. I'm going to try this again, so we'll see. But the flavor, that pizza flavor, everything else is there, girl. So, so good. And yeah, this is how I'll be ending my night. If I have any kind of dessert, I'll come back and let you guys know. Y'all, Auntie Flo is here, so I've been trying to fight the cravings. Oh, I did have one caramel cluster off camera and y'all i take back anything that i might have said that was mediocre or negative about that cluster and i don't know if it's just because it's that time but oh my gosh it is so good it has like a little extra bit of salt it's almost like a salted caramel inside and it is a pretty decent size so yes you guys so good so i might have another one of those for dessert but yes you guys this is what i'll be having for dinner Hey loves, happy Friday. Hey you guys, so I am getting a really late start on my first meal today. I know I always say I'm busy, but I am. But today I was really busy. I ended up doing a whole bunch of errands and it is 3.34 now and I'm just now having my first meal. So yeah, as soon as I stepped foot in the house, I was really, really hungry. So I had one of those Atkins clusters just to kind of take the hunger pain away. I don't have any more Atkins shakes or some fast or anything, which I typically use those for, but just to kind of knock off the hunger. But so since I didn't have any of those, that's what I opted for. And yeah, so part of my errands was running by the grocery store to get some stuff for my son. And I was getting him some buffalo like wings stuff or whatever. And when I went in that section, I saw the cauliflower chicken strips and I never tasted them before. For one serving size, it's about 10 net carbs. I think this is maybe one and a half servings because I think it's two strips is one serving. So I would say this is about maybe 15 carbs for these three. And then I paired it with a salad with some ranch dressing. But I am kind of glad that I waited to eat because I plan on trying to surprise hubby with some curry chicken. Girl, I don't even think he ever showed me how to make the curry chicken because we've been doing brown soup, brown soup, brown soup. I should be a brown soup expert by now, but I've never done the curry. So he's not home right now. So I'm hoping to maybe make some and then surprise him when he gets home and hopefully he likes it. I don't know. We'll see. But <laughs> that's what I plan to make for dinner. And I'm not going to have it with cauliflower rice. I'm going to have it with rice. Girl, I've already looked up how many carbs is in rice and all of that jazz. I think it's like 20 some carbs for a half of a cup. So, yeah, I'm going to save for my 50 carbs all of what I could save so that I can have my rice. So, as you guys know, I do not, you know, eliminate any food group. I'm just trying to keep it under 50 net carbs. But yes, you guys, this is what I'll be having. And then when you see me next, I'll probably be preparing to make the curry chicken. So yes, you guys, this is my first meal. Wait, I forgot to taste it. I forgot to taste it. Let me go ahead and give it a taste. This is what it looks like close up. Not bad. It actually has some pretty good seasoning to it. Y'all like it. I like it. The breading is almost like, you know how it's not super crunchy, like a chicken strip, like super floury, crunchy, crunchy, but it's, it feels breaded it feels good it is breaded it's like kind of like you know that original style how kentucky has that original style and then they have the extra crispy it's almost like the original style as far as like the texture and the softness of it i like it i will definitely get it again again 
I just wanted to show you what it was looking like and how I thought it tastes. Pretty good. Okay, so I just wanted to take a quick break in the food vlog and show you some home decor. Now, I hope you guys like Trenton's room makeover. I'm so proud of that space. And now the next space is my living room. So I will be converting my formal living space. I'm gonna use the space, okay? I'm tired of using it as a formal space. I feel like it's a waste of space that I'm not using that I could be using. So I'm going to change it up and I'll be possibly showing you things as time goes on. If that's something that you are interested in, like me showing you bits and pieces of me getting it together and then kind of doing a final reveal, kind of like how I did Trent's bedroom, then definitely let me know and I will start incorporating it in um, my videos. But I wanted to show you guys this beautiful print that I got from Home Goods. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I hope that, I hope there's a lot of light in here. But isn't she gorgeous? And I just love that she has like that drawn W nose. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of how they used to do the old cartoons back in the day. I just love that she has a little bit of an ethnic vibe to her. And she, you know, she got the wave and the hair popping. Like, so, so cute. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put this at yet, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have it. Cause my dining area and my, um, like my formal dining area and formal living room are together. So I might put this close to the dining area. You guys let me know what you think about it and what you think I should do. Or should I put it in the entryway? I'm not sure if it's so freaking cute. I love it. And it's probably, it's a decent size. It's not 24 by 36. It's probably like a, maybe like a 20 by 30. And yeah, I've been waiting to see what I should do with it. And I am just excited to get this space together and just like have more room in my house in general. But yes, you guys, I just wanted to show you that really quick. <laughs> you guys so I haven't even got to make my plate or anything yet because so much stuff has happened it's super late I have not ate dinner Bay ain't even home just yet well he was here and then stopped by the store so he haven't even seen me make this or anything so but now he left with the car and I had the keys in my purse <laughs> so now he's stuck and now I have to Uber to go get him. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on. I haven't even ate dinner, but I wanted my baby to eat something and I want him to taste it on camera and see if he like it. So taste it. Let me know how you like it. Trenton Mon. I said not taste, not eat. Yeah, you like it? Okay. Approved? All right, baby. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll show you my plate in a bit. It's serious. Like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love okay. it. Thank you, babe. This is the finished plate. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Oh, baby, eat on my food. I'm so happy. I love it. I've been eating the sandwich forever. So. <laughs> all right, you guys, that's it. I didn't make it look all pretty, but because he already ate it. But I'm going to have a servant and then I'm going to do no more than one cup of rice. 
So yes, you guys, this is Terry. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out glassesusa.com in the description box below. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.